Let's listen to Helmwood by Jeff Rosenstock for the first time while out running. And the watch is on, the music's on, and we're off corner. Let's go, 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 go. A bass that flaps like a goldfish tail, tender chords which wave like flags against a clear blue sky. A skipping, an optimistic drumbeat gives way to fiery guitars. I feel like now Helmwood is activated. And suddenly, just like that, the song is beautiful again. It feels like a portal to another dimension is opened up and a long lost person returns to stop us making any more mistakes. There's a really interesting, I think it's like a major chord when he says about things turn into dust and change not being enough to change the stuff. Does that gloriously uplifting chord make us find some kind of beauty in the despair? That's the magic of a perfectly placed chord. It's light and feathery like an angel on our shoulder. And then there's this tambourine which seems to sprinkle magic all over us. We then launch straight into head. It's fast, chaotic and colorful and it takes aim at the world around us. Jeff sings there that there's a bomb inside his head and I feel like I'm Keanu Reeves driving this song in speed. One of the many things I'm picking up on this song is that our online persona is not a true reflection of how we are in the real world. Like you better blows away the fog with four chords on an acoustic guitar. Again, there's this absolutely infectious energy about this song. I feel like I could pick the most impossible of locks while listening to the chorus is like a dream where you're effortlessly leaping over fences. That chorus sprints and splashes through my mind like an Afghan hound who's just discovered his own private lake. Ah oh, yes, oh, what a guitar solo that is. Doubt has this beautiful guitar line which is rounded off with a delicious dose of reverb. It falls on my ears like freshly cooked soft spaghetti. Jeff's voice on this is absolutely perfect and it's stunning. There's an ease and the comfort about this song which is so pleasing to the listener. The breakdown at the end of the song throws your doubt on a pile of rocks like it's a rotten wooden rowing boat. I got a big hill coming up, come on. A song which started off so so comfortable and at ease with itself is now blown apart by all this distortion and frantic drums. I feel cleansed as his voice comes in at the end about a slow motion breakdown. Oh, this is glorious. Future is dumb, has this air raid siren guitar as we are plunged into the darkness and we have a feeling that the future we want is no longer there for us. We are numb to the horrors around us because they are so relentless. <laughs> we are doomed, but somehow that is strangely uplifting on this song. So what if we're gonna die? The world doesn't owe us anything. Jeff says there that the future is done and that's delivered in a very celebratory way. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this album. So what if you die? So what if you don't die? That needs to replace live, laugh, love. That is the real message. That's the one that's got the most meaning. Soft living has this really rich and thick distortion. And again, this is another song which seems to point out to us that we might be more than we realize we are. That line there, Aaron Carter in a target screaming. Yes, even amongst all this existentialism, I guess that's where it is. There is humor there, lightheartedness. That is what we need during these troubling times. Hang on, I've run up this hill once. The smog and the fog returns. This album has a lot of imagery which suggests we are not seeing things properly. In a very buttery and soft way, this song gives us a lot of strength. It's like going to the gym and punching a bag full of jelly. That contradiction of softness and strength kind of fits the album really well so far. We've got this image that we are doomed, but I'm still feeling real hope 
and optimism in there. The song ends with the question, how did we go so wrong? Nobody knows, but yet here we are. This is the predicament we find ourselves in. <laughs> that was such a surprise heel mode. Then comes in and offers us a really comforting hug as a warm synth, a tender acoustic guitar and Jeff's beautiful voice combine to blow away the fog once more. But don't be fooled, it's not all good news because people in this song are still struggling to pay for their groceries. It's a lazy day inside with your loved one while the world outside passes in the cacophony of screeching power tools and honking car horn. It's the sound of moonlight. It's the safety and the cocoon of your secret private life. On Life Admin, we are sick of the city once again. Oh, that guitar line is really beautiful and it shows that life is a constant puzzle and contradiction. That's safe. Private life we had in the last song now looks fake. There's holes in it. He doesn't want people to find out what he really lives like. So even at home, he can't relax. Jeff cannot relax anywhere he goes in this modern world. I want to be wrong. Feels like the Christmas day of having your preconceptions turned on their head. This song really is a masterpiece of guitar playing, power chords, open chords, licks and riffs all join arms and circle around my head like a Matisse painting. This is the kind of song I can only dream about being able to play guitar on. Oh wait, a two note guitar solo. I'm in the band, I can do that. This album is now racing headlong towards a future that might not be there. It stretches out into an unknown expanse, shining a torch powered by the hope and optimism of a jaded but very strong human being. That is Jeff Rosenstock. He is fearless to take us where we don't really want to go. And once he takes us there, we feel comfortable. We find reasons to celebrate. That's what his music does to us. And yes, in my opinion, that makes him a genius. I could listen to Jeff's music and suddenly feel like playing Jenga in the middle of an earthquake is a good idea. The end is coming whether we like it or not and we must be mindful of people kind of where all the power is, is people who benefit from disaster. So all we can do, we can see the end as a release or something to fear. And in the meantime, we have to try and be better versions of ourselves. When people benefit from disaster, the end of the world is the ultimate advert the ultimate marketing campaign. Graveyard song has a drum beat which sounds like the kitchen tap dripping when you're in bed. It's a song loaded with anxiety. Someone saying sorry is sometimes all we want to hear. Maybe if people apologize, just like the sun calls the flowers out of the mud, we can heal in a very natural and balanced way. Three Summers really is a gigantic album closer. Guitars crash like cooling waves on a scorched and tormented earth. It's so cute because this is a song which seems to want the best, the best kind of future for the listener. And that is something you never get in the capitalist world we live in today. That is really stunning. Earlier on in the song, it talks about the support and comfort you have when you've got friends around you. Then suddenly, later in the song, those friends have vanished and you're spending three summers on your own facing up to eternity. It's at that moment we realize the world has changed us and we will never be the same again. That is something which should terrify and horrify us. But I don't know how he does it. Jeff makes us see the celebration in that, I guess. If we have been changed irreversibly by the state of the world around us, it shows that we are a real human being. We are a real thinking, sensitive human being. And the way the world is going, we might just be the last of our kind. That there is owning the disaster that awaits us. That is finding celebration. That is a perfect answer to capitalism and people who benefit on fear. We've got nothing to be scared of. We should celebrate our magnificence, our magic. Hell mode should become 
our default setting for survival learn to survive in this hellish world which we are now in and with that knowledge as to what this album is all about I am feeling some kind of euphoria I haven't felt in a long long time as the album fades out I realise I no longer need these headphones nothing will ever recreate that magic of listening to Helmwood for the first time while out running a beautiful album I guess somewhere in there teaches us to find or take all those things we fear and turn them into a reason to celebrate thank you very much Jeff for that as always your music has the power to just change my mood change the way I see the future and I love you very much for that good luck with everything around this album the tour and you do everything I love you and the running punk bye